everybody, my name is Doug, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Zenus 14 inch smart base bed frame, also known as a platform bed and also known as a box spring replacement. on Amazon.com. It arrived about three or four days after I paid for it and it was free shipping. Mine is a queen size. Came by UPS. Maybe FedEx. I wasn't paying attention but one of the two. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to unbox it, make sure that all the parts are there, take a quick look at the instructions to see if there's any tools that I need. Then I'll assemble it and you'll get to watch me do that in fast forward. And then I'll give you some preliminary comments. I'll try it out for a few nights and then let you know my overall thoughts. Sound like a plan? Great. Here we go. Okay, well, I got it out of the box and uh, looks like I don't need any tools at all to put it together. It comes with one of these little hardware kit packets, which I've seen in other things before. I really like these because then you know you got everything. It's all sealed in there. Um, and the screws are the wishbone kind that you just twist with your hand. So I don't you might want a pair of pliers, but I don't think you have to have one. So, uh, yeah, back to the work. Probably only uh, 10 to 15 minutes tops. I'll have to go back and watch the video and then I'll put the exact amount of elapsed time here on the screen. It was really easy. Um, like I said, there was no tools. You just use the kind of washers, or not washers, but screws that you twist together. Um, wing nuts is what they're called. I called them wishbone shaped earlier. Uh, but you know, the wing, wing nuts that stick out, you just twist with your fingers. So if you had really bad arthritis or neuropathy or something like that, it might be a little difficult. But otherwise, you should be fine. You could wear gloves if you didn't want to have sore fingers. Like, my fingers are just a hair sore. Uh, yeah, there's only two screw, screw wing nut sets that hold the two halves together on the queen. I'm guessing the king is the same way. So you probably don't want to move it around a whole lot. And what I mean by that is like, don't just be yanking it around to adjust it, get it in place, make sure everything's tight. Although if you needed to move it to a new house or a new bedroom, taking it apart would be simple. It was very easy. So it looks like the weight distribution will be okay. Um, we just got to try it out, see how I like it. I probably won't walk across it because it looks like it's not intended to take weight that is that concentrated in one spot. 
So I will give it a whirl here, sleep on it for a couple nights, and let you know what I think. Uh, before I come back, I'll let you know that if you appreciate this video and other videos like it, it would mean a lot to me if you'd subscribe to my channel and if you click the thumbs up button. I wanted to give you a visual of what it looks like when it's put into storage and all folded up. Uh, the entire product you can see is less than 40 inches long, uh, just under 40 inches. And in terms of the width, uh, right around 30 inches. And a height of about 7 inches when stored. So if you need to move frequently or have a reason to put it into storage, this is a great option because it doesn't take up much space when not in use. And it was very easy to disassemble too. It actually took less time to disassemble than it did to assemble. Okay, it's been a few days and I've had a mattress out on the smart base. And I did want to clear one thing up. This is the standard Zenith smart base. Uh, the queen size costs around $74. There's also a deluxe version that costs around $128. And an elite version that costs around $138. Now, based on my understanding of the difference, the standard model is what you saw me put together. And it has wires for the crossbars. Um, the deluxe model is the same, except the legs are slightly more recessed and there's a little reinforcement around the edges. And then the Elite model is the um, completely different model where the crossbars are actual bars instead of wires. This, the standard model, is designed to hold up to 1,200 pounds. With the Deluxe, I think you can go up to 2,400, and the Elite's like 4,000 pounds or something like that. Now that's kind of pointless because, you know, 99.999% of people are never going to come close to any of those weight limits. Um, but I guess my thoughts are everything's fine with the standard that I'm trying out. Um, if you were wanting to get this and you were an established couple in the home you're going to live in for a long time, just for durability purposes, I would probably spend a little extra money and go with the Elite. Again, what you're seeing in this video is the standard. So I slept in it for two nights. I've had a mattress on it at other times. I've tried rolling around in things. No squeaks. It's held up just fine. Uh, no problems at all. Uh, in fact, if you see me kind of lunge into bed, you know, no squeaks or anything like that. Rolling around, no squeaking. Seems to hold up just fine. Seems to be pretty sturdy. I'm right down here next to it and I'm going to do a couple measurements. Uh, from the main bar to the next main bar is about 11 inches. And then the opposite direction, the space between the wires is almost exactly 4 inches. And the distance from the edge to the center is around 30 inches. So everything is fine. I think this will work with most mattresses. Now remember, most modern mattresses, anything manufactured in the last 10 years or so, with a couple exceptions, you don't need a box spring. So this is truly a, a box spring replacement. The whole idea is you use this instead of a box spring. It's simpler. You have storage underneath those kind of things. So this would be fine for most all like 95% of modern mattresses but if you have any doubt check with the manufacturer uh, certainly your typical mattresses that come in a box this would be fine all of the mattresses that I've reviewed so far uh, Sattva, Sapira, Walla, um, Dream Cloud, Nectar, Tuft and Needle any of those would be fine on this and obviously any Zenus mattress 
I will also have a full written review on my blog, dugras.com, so check that out. I'll put a link in the description box. Cramped quarters here. I'm going to show you the underbed dimensions right now. Uh, the floor to surface height is roughly 14 inches, maybe an eighth of an inch less. And the underbed height for the main part is right in the neighborhood of 12 and a half inches on carpet, at least. Uh, you do have access to the 12 and a half inches underneath most of it. There is a crossbar right here where, depending on what part, is going to lower the clearance by anywhere from uh, 1 inch to 7 inches. So, uh, just to give you an example, I have a Tupperware bin here that I keep some of my equipment in. I can slide that underneath just barely. This is a standard 12 inch tall Tupperware bin. Um, just barely fits to give you that storage space. And then I have a, a typical one of these decorative boxes, kind of like a small banker's box that can slide uh, underneath as well. One other thing to be aware of is it did come with these peel-off strips that are like uh, anti-slip strips that you could, in theory, put across the larger bars. I don't really find that to be all that helpful, but if you wanted to, you sure could. A um, couple thoughts. Structurally, it's fine. No problems whatsoever. Uh, other than, like I said, if you're going to be using it for seven, eight, nine years, I might go with the Elite model instead. But this would be a super choice for an apartment dweller who's maybe uh, a college student or someone who's a little transient who may not be living there for a really long time. Someone that has to move the bed frame to different places or thinks they'll be moving houses in the near future. Um, someone who has a situation where they're just short on storage space. Um, because you can get, you know, the standard 12-inch Tupperware boxes under there. They do also make an 18-inch variety, which will hold, accommodate the even larger Tupperware containers. Um, I will put a link to a place where you can get more information and buy it if you want to, Amazon. Uh, that's one place you can get it. You can also um, go on the manufacturer's website, Zenus, and get it there. Uh, sometimes Amazon's better, sometimes Zenus is better. It just depends on what prices are at the moment. I referenced some prices earlier in the video. Remember, prices can and do change frequently. So, bottom line, what's Doug's verdict? Structurally, it is sound, it is fine, no vibrations, no squeaks. It's easy to assemble, it's easy to disassemble. I actually um, disassembled it and reassembled it for the sake of this video because I had something else I needed to videotape in the meantime. It was very easy to do. Um, it's just a matter of aesthetic in terms of whether or not you like it. Um, it's a very minimalist design. It's not really my preference for a design. I would prefer to have something with a headboard and a footboard, but that's just me. And Zenus makes lots of other options. If you're in a place where you're not going to be needing the underbed storage as dramatically and you're not going to be moving in a short period of time as dramatically, I also did a review, I think it was over a year ago, of the Zenus Quick Snap bed frame. And I like that one a little bit better. But that doesn't mean there's anything wrong with it. This one is just a matter of, of my preference. Um, and I think over the course of like 10 years, the quick snap will probably hold up a little better just because it has wooden slats instead of these thin bars. Uh, if you like reviews like this one, I would really appreciate it if you click the thumbs up button and it would mean a lot to me if you'd subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching everyone.